Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you what we're going to pack for our trip to Thailand for the upcoming Songkran Festival, also known as the Thai New Year. Songkran Festival is a lively and fun-filled water-throwing celebration. It is to purify and renew your year according to the locals there. It is also to unite the people and families. So what usually happens there is that they throw water to you. They also use water pistols to shoot water at you. So today I'm going to be sharing with you what I would need to pack for that event. First on the list, in order for you to secure your things properly without getting it wet, you would need a dry pack, a very durable and high quality dry pack. Well, in my case, I have this one. This one is from maybe eight years ago already. And inside, it's very spacious. I also have this clear device packs. This is for your phones. Like for example, you don't want your phones to get wet. Put your phone inside and you can use your phone while it's inside so it doesn't get wet. I know phones now have a water resistant or a waterproofing feature, but some people, they also still want their device to be protected. In my case, I also put cash here because no one wants to be paying with wet cash, am I right? Now we need to talk about the heat and the weather in Thailand. Heat is too much when it's summertime. And during April, which is the Songkran Festival, it is very humid and hot. So I would be recommending to bring fans, rechargeable fans, and also a battery powered fan. Why do I need a rechargeable and a battery powered fan? Just in case this goes out, at least this still has batteries and I don't need to go back to the hotel to charge it. I can just buy batteries or bring batteries. Actually, I'm bringing three types of fans. <laughs> you can never be too sure. In line with the very hot weather, I would also recommend to bring the Spiore cooling spray. This is super efficient. This is one of my essentials even here in the Philippines. I also have a cooling wipes. You can use this as a wet towel and then you just wipe it all over your face and your body when you feel hot. It gives off a minty, fresh cooling effect. Even Songkran is a water festival. You can never underestimate the sun. So I'll be bringing this beach hut. Maximum 100 plus plus SPF. Insanely water resistant and sweat resistant. This is a new bottle. I already finished my old one, but this is tried and tested already. Of course, you would need to reapply from time to time because you can never be too sure. You don't want to get sunburned. Suffering from sunburn during travel is not a fun experience. That's why I always use sunscreen. And for extra protection, also bring a portable small umbrella. This is very lightweight and you can just put it in your pocket if you're a male. If you're a female, just put it inside your bag. It's very small. Even though you're wearing sunscreen, the scorching sun is very uncomfortable. So I suggest you bring a foldable umbrella. Now we should talk about toiletries. Of course, when you're traveling, you need to bring your own toiletries, right? But me, I try to bring less. Why? Because it adds up to the space in my luggage. And also, if the hotel has it, I don't need to bring it. What are those? For example, the hotel has body wash. I don't need to bring body wash. What I usually just bring for toiletries are facial wash, feminine wash, shampoo if you have sensitive hair or you have a dry scalp, your own conditioner. I usually opt for the travel size version so it doesn't take too much space in my luggage. Don't forget your medical kit. In my medical kit, I have Tylenol, Loperamide, and a Mephanamic Acid. And I also have a small sewing kit. And this set is a carry-on approved set. The scissor of this one is not actually sharp. Since I'm only traveling using a carry-on, I won't be bringing my full-size skincare bottles or hair products. What I do instead is I transfer them in a smaller container like this one and label them properly. I also have a mosquito repellent because you never know. Especially in a hot, humid country, there's a lot of mosquitoes going out. This is my set when I travel and it, it has everything. And this last one is the one with a muscle pain patch and I mentioned this earlier the cooling wipes and of course sunscreen for your face very very important now let's talk about clothes and outfit I would highly recommend to bring a lightweight and easy drying outfits such as this this and this for shoes waterproof sandals and shoes are the way to go choose the ones that tends to grip well when it's wet to avoid slipping an accident we don't like that in my case I'm gonna be bringing this one and this one after you have chosen and decided which items to pack I would also suggest you pack your things in a packing cube like this one this is also waterproof I know it would be inside the luggage but you never know you know during the festival some people tend to start it very early just imagine this one, you arrived to Thailand, you came from the airport, and then somebody starts throwing water at you. Of course you can't get mad. I mean, you're fully aware that it's a water festival, right? So what are you gonna do? Now, 
all your things are wet. Your luggage is wet, everything inside is wet. So I suggest if you're going through the Songfan Festival, you should use this packing cube, this type of compression packing cube that is also waterproof so that your things are protected inside. I'll be also sharing one more item that you'll be needing to protect your luggage from getting wet. I've already learned from my mistake before. So I will also suggest you get this one. This is sort of like a raincoat for your luggage. Get one of these. It's very cheap online. This would help protect your luggage from getting wet. Even though it's a hard shell or a soft case, it doesn't matter. It will still get wet. Most luggage types, the zippers are not waterproof. Water can still penetrate inside. So I would suggest just get this one, just for the peace of mind. I don't take any international flight without this one. This bag holds everything. It has my cable, my travel adapters, my vacuum pump for the clothes that I would be buying, portable luggage scale, an extension cord, all the cables I have. It. I have lightning, I have C-type, I have micro USB. I've already shared this in my previous Thailand and Pack With Me vlog. This IKEA bag. This is a shopping bag, but I convert it into a merchandise bag. After I buy all the things, I vacuum pack everything. I stuff it inside, have it wrapped, and then just check it in. This is a very convenient way if you like shopping. Like you buy the things, put it in a vacuum pack, stuff it inside, wrap it, finish. Why? No one likes to carry two luggages. This doubles as a backpack also, so you can just put it in your bag or just put it on top of your carrier. It's really, really hard to drag two luggages when traveling from one place to another. Very effective, very cost efficient. This next item is what people usually tend to forget when they go to a place where they would require swimming or something like that, like your clothes will get wet, is to pack a Ziploc, big Ziploc plastic bag. Why? Sometimes you don't have enough time to dry all of your clothes before you go back to your home country, right? So you don't want your luggage to be smelly and dripping some like that so I tend to air dry the things first in the hotel and if it doesn't dry completely I put it here and pack it separately so that the other clothes won't get damaged and then it won't smell also you know the smell when something is not dried properly and then it starts to smell like undried rag no one likes that smell so bring one of these I would also recommend and suggest you to bring a power bank but if you're going to Songkran also put it in a ziplock we don't want our devices to get damaged ziplock better be safe than sorry as usual for this flight going to Thailand I'll be only using a carry-on suitcase apart from the carry-on suitcase you're also allowed one personal bag as I mentioned in my previous vlog I usually bring this bag when I travel internationally but in this case, I won't be bringing that bag anymore. Why? Because that is pure leather. I don't want it to get damaged. So instead, I opted for this waterproof bag. It also has a luggage sleeve, so I can just put it on top like that. This one, I like this one so much because first it expands. Whatever I put inside, whether it's my laptop, my other devices, even dry clothes, it, it, it's gonna be fine because it's completely waterproof. I'll try to link this one below so you can also find it. I also have this waterproof organizer for my personal bag. On this bag are my in-flight essentials. Inside is passport, sunglasses, and I want to share this. This is a portable phone holder and it's a universal size so it can fit most phones. And then you just attach it to your table and then I also have some feminine pads and some wet wipes and a pen, you know, for when you write things during arrival or something like that. Some country they still do that, that you write the things during arrival, but in some countries it's already automatic. One last tip, I would highly, highly recommend you to get yourself an air tag. This is a four pack air tag. This is still new, I haven't opened it yet. I already have one and I used it from a previous trip. You just place the air tag inside the luggage and you can locate wherever it is. Like I mentioned before, this is to avoid losing your things, losing your luggages. I had a little panic last time I went to Korea because our luggage is very delayed and then I thought they lost it. So for peace of mind, I already bought an air tag, but I realized placing an air tag in your carry-on, in your personal bag, your check bag would give you a lot of peace of mind rather than thinking about like what happened to my luggage or something like that. I hope you enjoyed packing with me and if you like more videos like this, please subscribe down below and click the notification button so you get notified when I make more videos like this. I would also love to hear from you if you have any recommendations or other packing tips or maybe places that I can visit when I go to Thailand next week. That's it for now. See you on my next vlog.